I'm in post. This build is lit. Very lit. <laughs> oh. Pulse now. I didn't. <laughs> Alright, go left. Hey everyone, Be Righteous here. And I was conflicted about whether or not I wanted to drop this build. One of my clanmates, after we played with it in PvP, said, B, you gotta keep some goodies for yourself. This is way too good. At first I agreed with him, but I really feel like I want to bring the diversity that is within this game out. Plus, people don't really like playing outside their comfort zone, and this build is for those who are willing to step outside the meta. Stay tuned because you are going to love it. Are you enjoying my content? If so, please drop a like and don't hesitate to subscribe. Protection from the bleed, the burn, the disrupt. All of these hazards are important to be protected from, but there's one attribute that's as important as any hazard in this game, and that is pulse resistance. Yes, I said it, pulse resistance. If you make this build, it will help solve so many of your problems. You know how many comments I get on my videos telling me, well, I don't even go in a DZ, or I'm always getting jumped at landmarks by a group of rogues. So many complaints. Well, let me help ease your minds and show you a build that will allow you to become a shadow amongst the chaos. Using this will give you an extra layer of protection from rogues that are out hunting for prey. Become undetectable and farm in peace. Still, you have to keep your wits about you, but this will help you with everything else. The amount of utility and versatility that 100% pulse resistance gives you is unreal. The flank routes you can achieve the mind games and psychological warfare you can inflict on an enemy with the manipulative tactics you're able to implement. Oh man, <laughs> let me relax, but I am stoked about this one. So let's not waste any more time. Here it is. Hey everyone, this build is special to me and the great thing about it is that it's simple to make, but so effective. The specialization I'm going with is technician, and Technician is very good for hybrid builds and when you wanna use a skill and you want that skill to be a little more effective than average. Now there are a lot of weapons that you can use with this. You can use any weapon that's your preference because one of the main goals here is to ambush the enemy, okay? So once you ambush them, you wanna do as much burst damage as possible. One of my preference weapons is the Pyromaniac because of the skill that I'm using. And you'll see the skill that I'm using when I get there, but you can use the eagle bearer you can use the big horn if you have it and by the way the big horn is getting a damage buff in the next patch along with the chameleon did you know that the chameleon is getting a 32 percent damage buff oh yeah best believe i'm gonna make a bill with that but anyways the pyromaniac is my weapon of choice and that's for certain reasons technician specialization gives you the laser pointer that allows you to pulse enemies so with you being 100 percent resistant to pulse you can pulse everybody else. This build is so great, man. Like, especially in conflict, it's like, I remember one time I was all the way on the other side of the map and this guy had set up on the wall as if he was just ready to strategically get his line of sight. And he didn't even know I was there, man. The only reason why I wasn't successful is because he had the dragon holster. And once I engaged, I got caught on fire, then my cover was blown. But remember, they're nerfing the dragon holster also. And that means that you have to maintain a line of sight with your weapon in order to set the enemy on fire. So you'll be able to ambush people without getting set on fire. It, it's just a great nerf and a great rework for the Dragon Holster. And by the way, the Pyromaniac, what it does is it has perfectly ignited. You deal 25% weapon damage to burning enemies. Man, I wish I had a better rolled one. 
in the secondary i'm just using the sweet dreams and like i said you can use another weapon like a, a sniper would be great like the nemesis you know you can be a sniper that's never seen and best believe i'm going to use the mantis when when i get that so that's why this build is so great man because you can use any weapon with it and because you're never seen with pulse the possibilities are endless it really doesn't matter what pistol you use so i'm not even going to go over that so the build system corruption gives you for the three piece 40 percent pulse resistance every specialization no matter what you use gives you 50 percent pulse resistance that gives you 90% right there. And make sure you roll crit chance or crit damage depending on what you have rolled already. Now the reason why I said this is really simple is because it's three pieces of y'all, three pieces of system corruption, right? And I just wanna tell you quickly the inspiration behind why I made this build, okay? I did say in the intro that the versatility you can achieve in this build is unreal. So one day I was in a DZ with a fellow clanmate and we were getting farmed by a group of rogue agents. I put my Predmark skill build on and we wiped them once. Then a couple of them put on hazard protection DPS builds. I couldn't do nothing with them. After that, I put on a DPS build, but I couldn't get close enough to shoot or deal enough damage before I died. Then I put on my burst trauma explosive build and this worked wonders. But the problem was I kept getting pulsed so I could not get close enough or get any angles without being detected. I couldn't flank without being detected because they were literally pulsing like every six or seven seconds. They were probably alternating pulses, but it was crazy. So that's where this build idea came to mind. I made a similar build back in the day called Blind Stealth, but that build had only 90% pulse resistance. And that's the problem. You can still get pulsed with shadow. You're undetectable, period. No technician laser can pulse you, nothing. Just think of that for a second. If I had that in a DZ that day while fighting those rogues, it would have been a totally different story. But even if you don't wanna play PVP with this, you don't have to. So many of you are intimidated by the DZ or just don't want the drama of the people attacking you while you're farming. This build will help you farm with the least amount of drama. Now the way to get this does carry a double-edged sword because the DZ is where you have to farm to get all the gear. System corruption is DZ exclusive and y'all gear is DZ exclusive. But once you have it, it's yours. And you remember, you can craft y'all gear, but it takes y'all gear components to craft it, which you have to go in a DZ for. But anyways, the chest piece is a y'all comes with an armor core by default. So you just have to get lucky with the rolls and this is what it came with and I had to roll glass cannon. Glass cannon is great for when you ambush somebody, you wanna deal as much damage as possible and that's what this does. So when you are undetectable, running glass cannon is perfect. That's the whole point. You don't wanna get hit because this amplifies all damage you deal by 25%, but the damage you take is 50%, that's pretty crazy. If you noticed, I have 1.3 million armor. And that is great just in case you actually have to engage with the enemy after ambushing them. Usually I see glass cannons that's running like 700k armor. But because y'all gear comes with armor cores, then this is what I'm working with. I mean, you can't really shy away from the blueprint here. The holster is a system corruption. Simple. It just has crit chance roll on it with weapon damage. And the backpack. Okay. The backpack. Vigilance. All right. Status effects and headshot damage nothing like what i need but i mean if i'm if i'm using a sniper headshot damage is useful right and the way that i'm achieving 100 percent pulse resistance is because the three piece y'all gives you another 40 percent so you can't even get pulsed it's just pretty amazing to me the talent is vigilance increases your total weapon damage by 25 percent taking damage disables this buff for four seconds so when you ambush somebody or flank somebody this gives you 50 percent amplified damage from glass cannon and vigilance and this is great against npcs in a dz and in heroic missions because just the fact that you deal so much damage from the talents and you have 1.3 million armor which is great gloves are actually really good i mean <laughs> it is really hard to get some y'all gloves like this I mean, when you're in a DZ, y'all gear drops really bad. I mean, so when you get a good y'all piece, hold on to it. I forgot what the second attribute was, but I just rolled a max crit damage on here and I'm good to go. I mean, I'm definitely gonna min-max this build. I'm gonna keep farming to make this the best it can be. 
the knee pads are another system corruption and these came with armor surprisingly because i mean sometimes system corruption rolls with an armor core sometimes it rolls with a weapon core i mean the only core that i haven't seen it roll to is skill tier so another crit chance roll all right on to the skills okay now this is something you might be wondering why i'm running this way all right the first skill i'm running is the artificer hive the great thing about this hive is that when you throw it out it has charges right it has 13 charges is shared with you and your squad but you never drop this on the ground this is going to stay on your back and what this does it buffs your other skills so if you have a shield then it buffs the shield it buffs whatever skill you're using as your alternate and in this case the chem launcher fire starter now glass cannon amplifies all weapon damage and that includes skill damage so glass cannon buffs my chem launcher's damage by 25 percent right so this right here is amplified by 25 percent plus the 20 percent buff damage i'm getting from the artificer hive i know it's only a skill tier one but this does great damage and because i'm using the pyromaniac when they're on fire i'm just doing immense damage to them all over the place so when you ambush the enemy you can ambush them with your chem launcher you can ambush them with your weapon you can ambush them with your sniper whatever you want to the key is that you're going to be running around the map without being seen now in pve this is good for raw damage but this build shines in pvp and it shines if you just want to like i said farm in peace this is great for you and i wanted to help you guys out so much because a lot of the builds that i make i'm like yo the only way you can get this is through the dz the claws out is a dz exclusive the hollow man is a dz exclusive you know all these dz exclusives and i get comments from people saying i'll never go into dz i'm not you won't find me in there i hate getting jumped by rogues you know i mean this is going to help you so that is pretty much it for the build i didn't want to make this too long i just wanted to get this out for you and i hope that you make this and i hope that you like it because i was enjoying the crap out of it and i did not expect to have this much fun in pvp i mean every time lolo my clanmate was like yo i got pause i'm like oh really <laughs> sucks for you right so if this build helped you out in any way i'd appreciate if you drop a like and don't hesitate to subscribe and join the identity family until i see you in my next video be right out